I'm going to demonstrate uh, changing the Biostone filter in the Melody water ionizer. So I've got a new filter and my machine uh, actually, well, I turned it off, but I should show you. Um, all right, just hold on one second. Uh, I guess you have to pour water through it to um, have it show you this. Uh, All right, um, so I don't know if you can see this or not, but um, it is reading 9999 on there. And that means it is time to change the filter. Now that uh, reads 9999 when um, it's got up to a thousand gallons. And actually it's, it's been up to, up to 9999 now for probably a week. And uh, so I just reached around and turned this button off. You, you can't see it, but it's back there, a little on off switch. And I, I normally just keep it on, but you know, if you're gonna change the filter, I'm just gonna guess that it's probably better to just go ahead and turn that off. Now I'm gonna open this door right here. It's, it's just a, a little, and I'm going to um, push down and pull out this old filter and um, so that's I guess just gonna go in the garbage or whatever now I'm going to put the new filter in comes in the box and just unwrap it and need to obviously take the end pieces off. Now once I put this new filter in, I'm going to run water through the filter, probably a couple of gallons worth of water, just to flush the carbon out because um, that's just how these filters are. The, there might be a little carbon dust in there just based on pouring the filter medium in there. Alright, so I just, um, I don't know if you can see this little tiny center piece right there, but I just center this on that piece, push, and then get it in there as easy as that. Now there's a little button here, I'm just going to push that and that will reset to zero, I hope. I, I might have to actually turn it on to do that, but I, I guess I should find out whether I have to turn it on to do that or not. Let me see if it reset to zero. Well, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is start pouring water, I suppose. No, it didn't. So now I'm going to reset. Now I'm going to push that button. Oh, I probably have to push it and hold it or something. Okay, you, you can't have water running through it, I suppose. It did reset to zero now, so I just had to have it turned off and, uh, I mean, turned on and then uh, no water running through it and then just push that button. And um, I am probably should have just read the instructions first. I, I'll bet it says it right there in the instructions. Alright, so now I hope you can see this. Is just stick this door back on and we are ready to go. There you go.